Hi everyone, I'm Hazel from Gel Yoga. Welcome to Stay Home with Gel Practice. And today we're going to share with you kinetic yoga practice. And I will more focus on the lower parts of the body, on your hips and your legs, and to release all the tension for the lower parts of the body. And we have Christina with us today and practice together. Can you please prepare your yoga mats and ready your two block if you have a block at home, right? Let's start the class now. Okay, bring yourself to your all four position. So we're gonna to face to each other, press the hand down. Okay, set yourself to your all four, bring the toes touch to each other. Make a deep inhale from here. As you exhale, move your hip to your right side. Sit your bottom down to the right. In center. Exhale, sit your bottom towards the left. So in center. Exhale, right. So you start to feel the move and then release the tension from the left and right hips and out to the left. Inhale, back to your center. Exhale, move the hip to the back, sit your bottom down. And then extend your hand forward, keep the both arm released and let go. Release the forehead down on the mat. Now start to bring in all the fresh air down to your heart, chest and your dominant. As you exhale, you draw your navel in and slowly out to your nose. In, bring the air down to your spine and then widen all your back muscles. Exhale, draw your navel in to your spine. So you connect the breath to your entire body. As you inhale, feel them open. Bring more space for your joints and your spine. Exhale, soft and let go. So you take your own time, find the rhythm of the breath in and out. Right, now make a deep inhale, slow exhale, press the hand down to the floor, inhale, chin into your collarbones, round the back, and you come to your all four position. Then keep the next neutral position, spine neutral position. And you adjust the knee, make sure the knee is right underneath your hips, and tuck the toes into the mat. Make sure the hand adjusts right underneath your shoulder. So we start with the movement from the spine to lift up the tailbone. We inhale, open heart and chest into your cow pose. As you exhale, draw your navel into your spine, round the back, and you bring the chin close to your collarbone. Draw your navel into your spine. Inhale. And then slowly up. Inhale, tailbone lift up, natural curve for the lower back, natural curve for the neck. Exhale, tailbone tuck in, draw your navel in, pushing the spine up, and then chin close to your collarbone. In. And slowly out. Bring your conscious to the spine move. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So one more. Inhale. And then slowly up. Now inhale slowly, bring it back to your neutral position. 
look forwards. So active all your fingers, ground the palm, then lean the body forward. Start to feel the pressure come to your wrist. We're going to move the body to the right side. So you extend your body to the right side, push your hip to the back. And then use the body to circle and come up through your left. So inhale. Exhale. Three. Four. And five. Good. Now, slowly release back to center. We're going to change another side. Let's lean forward. We inhale, move the body from your left side. Push your hip to the back. And then circle to your right arm. So in. And out. A lot of rotation for your shoulder joint, your hip joints. Three, four, and five. Good. Now back to center from here. So set the left hand down on the mat, and then we're going to lift up the right hand. So you extend your right hands up to the ceiling. Keep the chest and heart open. As you exhale, you slowly bring the hand down, palm facing to your chest, fingers towards the left side. And then slowly lower down your forearm, upper arms, and then rest the ears down. If it's hard for you to rest the ears down on the mat, you might use the block. So just put your ears on the block, resting the arm down towards the floor. Good. Now stay where you are. Move the chin closer to your collarbone. Try not to arch the back neck. So your chin close to your collarbone, turn your face, look through the arms and up to the ceiling. Bring the heaviness to your hip, inhale towards the spine. Exhale, keep the chest open to the side. Two more breaths, inhale. Slowly out. Feel your stretch from the shoulder and your upper back and your arm as well. In. And out. So your hand supports, we inhale. Bring up the right hand, right finger, lift all the way up to the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly release. Okay, change another side. Inhale up, chest open, heart open. Exhale, hand down towards the right armpit. Move toward right side. Shoulder, arms all released down. Chin in to your collarbones. Look through the armpit, up to the ceiling, if possible. So make a deep in, moving the hip to the back. Keep the spine longer. And then exhale, you twist your chest open. Release all the stretch and tension from your shoulder. You start to feel your arm, your scapular area, and your upper back stretching. You breathe in and out from here, not holding your breath. You find your own rhythm, in slowly, out least. Two more breaths. Good. Now hands support, inhale. Bring the hands up, open chest and heart. And then exhale, slowly released. Okay. Start from here, you're going to adjust the knee back, hand supports. Tuck the toes into the mat. Let's push your hip up, knee off the mat. Make a deep inhale, again extend the both legs straight. As you exhale, you draw your navel in, and then slowly release the heel down on the mat. Bring us down to your downward facing dog. Okay, start to feel the hands are connected to the floor, pushing against from the mat. Lift the shoulder up. Try not collapse the floor. Lift up. Hold your core in. Okay, we're going to lift the heels up from here. Inhale. Good. Exhale, bend your knee. Lower down your chest to your knee. Lower down your head towards the mat. Start to feel more opening from your upper body. Your shoulder, 
upper back and your chest. Good. Now you can do the bouncing chest from here with one, two, three, four, and five. Hold that. If you can go deeper, your crown the head is almost touching the map. Stay another five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, chin in to your collarbone, round the back, lean forwards, lean forwards, come to your plank position. As you exhale, drop the knee down, bend elbow, chest and chin on the mat. Inhale, slide the body forward, roll the shoulder up, come up to your cobra. Hand support, draw never in, push your hip to the back, tuck toes in, round back, and back to your downward facing dog again. Good. All right, now start from here, we inhale, lift the both heels up. Okay, hold your core into your spine as you exhale. Now in from here, you're going to lengthen the right leg and step the right heels down on the mat and bend your left. So you feel the right heels is connected to the floor. We change side, we inhale up, exhale, left heels down. Those can reach the heels connect to the mat. You can curve your toes point up to the ceiling. So inhale and exhale. Chin side. In and out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Right heels. Center. And left heels down. Good. Now in again. Lift up. Tailbones tuck in. Round the back. Slowly come forward to your plank. Exhale, soft the knee down. Bend the elbow, chest and chin on the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, move your hip to the back. Tuck toes in. And then come back to your down facing dog. Good. Now lift up the heels from here in. Hold your core in as you exhale. Lift up the right leg. Inhale. Bend your knee. Right foot step forward. Good. And then bring your right foot next to your right toes. Okay, lower down your knee to the mat. Okay. If you need a support, you can use the block. If you have a block at home, I can suggest you bring two blocks put next to your foot. So your hands can press on the block or you can grip the front of the block. So if those do not need any block, you can set your palm just in line with your foot. Okay, so I'm going to use the block Christina I'm not using. <laughs> right, now set your hand down. Okay, tuck the back toes in. We're going to move the hip to the back. With inhale, conscious to your hip bone. Move the hip to the back and then lift the toes point to yourself. Good. The heels are kicking forward, toes point to yourself. Start to stretch the hamstring all the way down to your heels. Okay, make a deep inhale, lengthening the spine from here. Stay that stretching, a very deep stretching from the inner tights. Good. Exhale, bend your knee, toes to the front, and then sink your hip down to the mat, and then lift the chest up and look forward. Good. So we're going to move this movement. We inhale to the back, and exhale forward. Inhale. And exhale. In. And up. Four. And down. One more. Inhale. Okay, hold that. Bring the conscious to your hip bone. Move to the back. Kick the heels forward. Curve the toes. Point to yourself. Bring the awareness to your right hip. Move the right hip bone to the back and down. And then your sitting bones is moved towards the floor. Your heels are kicked forward. Curve your toes towards your stay another five. Flexible people can go further. You can lower down your front body closer to your tight. If you can go lower, bring your forehead down or your chin on your shin. Keep a spine straight. Stay here for five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Now inhale up, tailbone's tuck in, and then sink your hip down to the floor, and then look forward, elongate your spine from here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, look down, exhale, set your palm down to the floor. Tuck toes in. Let's bring the knee off the mat. Push up. Leg extend to the back and step your feet down back to your downward facing dog. So you can adjust the block to the side. Okay, hold your backs to your downward facing dog from here. Good, now in, chin side, lift up the left leg. Bend your knee, left foot step forward. And then next to your thumb, lower down your back knee. Choose the option that you're choosing, using the block or without the block. Okay, set your palm down to the floor or on the block. Back toe support, let's make a deep inhale. Move your hip to the back, curve your toes towards you. Good, exhale, bend your knee, tailbones tuck in, sink your hip down towards the mat. Now in. And up. Three. And down. Four. And down. Five. So you're going to stay there. Keep moving the heels kicking forward, curving your toes point to yourself. Feel the deep stretch from the hamstring. Moving the left hip to the back, elongate spine forward. Exhale, you can draw never in. You want to go further, you can lower down your body to your thigh, chest to your knee, and heads down. So always mention you're lengthening the leg, but try not lock your knee. Don't press the knee behind the kneecaps, back of the kneecap. So the, oh sorry, don't press the kneecap down to the back of the knee. So just keep the kneecap up towards the groin area. Good. Right, now inhale, come back. Exhale, step the feet down, hold your core, sink your hip down to the floor, but tailbone's tuck in. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now hand support. Tuck toes in. You can start with remove the block first. Then hand down, push up, bring the leg to the back, back to your downward facing block. Right, now inhale, lift the heels up, right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee. Bring your knee towards the chest first. Slowly lower down your knee to your wrist, to your pigeon pose. Knee towards the back. Good. So you move the hip side to side. Release all the tension from the hip joints. Okay, the back toes remain touching the mat. And then you can check from here. Hip, knee and heel in one straight line. If they are in the one straight lines, then you slowly extend your full arm to the front. Keep the spine longer as you inhale. As you inhale, sink your hip down. Drop the dominance down. Drop the hip down towards the mat. Another five. Four, square hip from here. Make sure the left tight is facing down to the left front tight is facing down to the mat. Two, three, and once. Now inhale, look forward. Walk your hands closer to your hip. So we're going to do a rotating from the hip joints and your thigh. So we need to remove the block to the side. We need more space now. Okay, you bring the conscious to your right hip bones and then lift up the back knee off the mat. And then right hand support, left leg extend to the side. And then bring your toes point up to the ceiling. Good, inhale from here, exhale. Bring the leg to the back and tuck the toes point down to the floor, turn your body facing forward. So we're gonna do this five move. Inhale, exhale, in, 
shift the weight to your right hip and then exhale, tights down. In, move from the hip joint, rotate, and then up. Two more. Inhale, and exhale. One more. In, and up. Good. Now, shift the weight from towards the right side. Bring the leg forward to in. Cross the thigh. Use hand, pull the leg to the back. Finding the grounding of the sitting bones from here. And then your left toes point forward. Good. Hand hug your left knee. Lift up the left hands, twist towards the back, set your palm down to the floor. Make a deep inhale towards the spine. Lengthening. Exhale, open chest, face to the side. You can turn, if those can go further, turn your eyes gaze to the back. Stay another five. Four. Three, two, and one. Now inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Hand support, lift up the hip, and then cross the leg and sit your buttock down. Bring the both toes pointing to yourself. If possible, your knee will gonna face towards the front and your leg is overlaps. Good. Now start here. Bring the hand extend to the back, turn your palm face to the back, interlock your finger, roll the shoulder up, open heart and chest. As you exhale, drop your fan body down, reach your hands up to the ceiling. Chin in to your collarbone, round the back, inhale, come up. Exhale down, draw your navel in, chest open and down. Inhale up. Exhale down, draw your navel in, bend forward. Go as far as you can. In. And up. Last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Okay, stay here. Extend your hands up. Five. Four. Three. Two. And once, now inhale, slowly come all the way back. Exhale, release the hand down. So you press the hand down to the floor, shift the weight to your left, and lift up the left, uh, right, shift the weight to the right hip. Lift up the left leg, extend to the back. Tuck the toes into the mat. Rotate your hip, and then bring your front leg facing down. Set your palm down to the floor, back toes support. Lift up. Good. And then from here, try to lengthen the knee, Press the outer feet down to the mat. You start to feel the stretch from the IT bands from here. Moving the hip bone to the back. Go deeper if possible. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, look forward. Bend your knee. Use your hand support. Lift up the leg and bring the leg to the back. Step the heel up and down. Okay, change another side. Inhale, lift the heels up. Left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee. Forward. Into your pigeon. Down. Good. So adjust the knee to the back. Look at the back heels, knee and hip are they in one straight line. Use your toes adjust. Good. And then bring the hands down. Back to your pigeon pose. If you have a very stiff hip, you need support, you can put one yoga block put underneath your hip. If you don't need that, just stay where you are. If the block is too high, you can fold tower or blanket also, you can actually put underneath your hip. Bring the conscious to your hip bones as you inhale. Exhale, sink them towards the mat, draw your navel into your spine. Keep the spine longer, taller. Alright, now press the hand down, walk your hands close to your knee, chin in to your collarbone, round the back, and come back to your sitting position. Okay, we're going to move the conscious to your left hip, sit the left hip bone down, then bring your body come up, hands at the side, draw your navel into your spine, lift up the back knee with in, bring the leg to the front, exhale, turn, 
extend to the back, tuck the toes in, move the hip bone. You feel the rotating from the hip tight. Good. Inhale, up. And exhale. In. And up. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. In. And up. One more inhale. Look at your leg. And then exhale. Good. Now shift the weight to your hip. We inhale. Lift the leg forward. Cross the tight. Step the feet down. Adjust the hip bone. Make sure both hip bones are grounded on the mat. Okay. Keep the spine taller, longer. Okay. Bring the hands to the back. Lift up the left. Hatch your tight. Make a twist from here. We in. As you exhale, twist all on your upper thoracic spine and look at the back. Every inhalation, try to elongate your spine. As you exhale, twist more on your upper thoracic spine. Good. Now take a deep in, come all the way back to center. Exhale, release the hand down, shift the weight to your left hip. Bring up the right, straighten the leg, extend to the back, tuck toes in, turn your front tuck facing down to the mat. Set your hand next to your knee. The back toes support you, holding your core in, push up. Lift the knee off the mat, the outer feet press down to the mat. And then shift the weights towards your hip, move to the back, try to stretch your front leg. If this is your maximum, hold where you are, not forcing. Pressing the outer feet, keep lengthening the leg. Start to feel the side, leg, side, IT bands. And those can go further. Release the front body down to your tight foreheads on your shin. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, look forward, bend your knee, hold your core in. Lift up the leg and extend to the back. Step your heel up and down. Inhale, lean forwards, come to your plank. Exhale, bend knee, bend elbow, chest chin on the mat. Inhale, slide forwards, come up to your cobra. Exhale, push your hip to the back, tuck toes in. And then come back to your down facing dog. Good, now in, look forward, lift the heels up, right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, right foot step forward. In between your palm. Good. Lower down your back knee to the mat. So you're going to turn yourself facing to the left side. So your toes up, down, adjust the back leg. So your toes is pressing down in line with the knee and then turn your body facing to the left side. So I'm going to face to you, Krishna, remember where you are. So we're going to face to you so that you know where is the direction. So it means that your leg when you go to the front, the leg is down, adjust the back leg and then come to this position. So checks, if the knee is too much wider, you can adjust a little bit your knee, bring it in line with the hip. And then this knee are in line with the hip. Toes point straight to the front. Good. So extend your hand up with inhale, reaching all the way up to the ceiling, look up to the ceiling. And to raise your finger, bend the elbow and step behind your head. So keep your spine taller, longer, chest open. Active the leg from here. Anyone have a knee problem, please fold the towel put underneath your knee. So to protect, prevent any hurts from the knee. So breathe in from here. As you exhale, you bend your front knee, lower down your hips towards the mat. And then inhale, come back to center. Tailbone stuck in. Sitting bone move down. Inhale, exhale. In, come back to center. Exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale down. Up. And down. So we do more movement from here. Another five more. And up. And down. Inhale up. Exhale. In. And down. Two. 
and down one and down let's hold here for five four three two and once now inhale come back to center exhale release the hand bring the palms down to the floor good so i want you to adjust the back the knee the ones on the floor use the toe support lift up extend your knee towards the side again inner foot down and your toes pointing to the side hand support move the hands close to the knee first keep this leg straight toes point up then kicks the leg to the side go as far as you can so you walk the hand down see whether you can rest your forearm down on the mat and you bring yourself to your half lock pose from here good tailbones tuck in try not to arch the lower back good you keep the spine longer and taller and check the knee are in line with the hip so your hip is not behind the knee the hips are in line with the knee from there you can go further the sacrum is moving down press towards the floor and extend and start to feel the opening from the inner tights and your hips so you can check from here so make sure the hip is not over your knee hip is not behind your knee just in line with the knee so forearm down go as far as you can so you use the breath inhale exhale press the sacrum down open up your hip from here try not arch lower back whole core in another one more breath inhale and exhale good set your palm down inhale slowly slide the leg back bend your knee so you step the feet down good so turn your body facing towards the front leg lift up the back toes so adjust the sound to the front good lift the toes up so you're going to face like this lift the toes up move your hip to the back very good sit your buttock to the back go deep to your forward bend again stay another five four three two and once now inhale look forward exhale bend your knee set your palm down tuck toes in lift up and bring the front leg to the back good step the heel up and down okay let's change another side from here let's breathe in lift up the heels exhale draw your navel into your spine left leg up exhale bend your knee step forward in between your palm okay, lower down your back knee to the mat good now change so your right toes point to the backs bring the heels and knee in line toes point towards your knee change your body facing towards the right side good so you check yourself whether are you into the alignments if you need support put something on the knee and then check they are 90 degree here very good okay active your leg support with the back toes and the knee raise the hand up with inhale interlace your finger exhale bring your palms behind make a deep in from here exhale bend your knee forward open up your hips inhale up exhale in and out make sure the knee point straight to the side don't let your knee point inwards so knee point straight to the front towards the toes and exhale inhale up exhale down center and down good in and up four and down five and down six sorry three and up two and up and once holding there look forward holding from your core and your leg strength stay there for five four three two 
and one actively we inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hand down to the mat. Good. So with the hand support, back toe support, lift the knee off, adjust the knee to the side. Okay, toes point to the side, half lock pose on the left side. Is it left or right? Right side, sorry. Okay, now start from here. You're going to bring the leg extend. Lift up the toes. Kick the leg to the side. Go as far as you can. Then soft the elbow down on the mat if possible. If this is not for you, you can just set your hand down. Don't go too much to feel too much pressure come to an inner tight. We want to feel the stretching, but not force yourself to go to your maximum. Good. Try not locking your knee, but keep the knee caps up. Good. Those can go lower. Bring your hand down. Keep in line with the knee. Tailbone's tuck in. Keep the spine longer. Draw your navel into your spine. Make a deep in again. As you exhale, slowly slide the leg to the side. Feel the stretch. Inner tight stretching on the left side. And then you feel small. Keep opening. Stay another five. Four. Three. Two. And once, now hand support, hold your core in. Bring the leg back with inhale. Exhale, step the feet down to the mat. Okay, lift up the back toes. Tuck the toes into the mat. Change yourself facing forward. Good. Hands in line with the toes. Inhale, move the hip to the back. Curve the toes, point to yourself. Draw your navel in. Exhale, go deeper. Stay here for five, four. Three, two, and once. Now inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knee. Set your palm down to the floor. Tuck back toes in. Lift up. Bring the legs to the back. And set your heel up and down. Good. Now inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knee. Bend elbow, chest, chin on the mat. Breathe in, come up. Roll the shoulder to the back. Open heart and chest. Exhale, move your hip to the back. Sit your buttock down on the heel. And rest yourself into your child post. Breathe in all the way to your spine, your neck, shoulder, your hip, your inner thighs. So in and out. Bring the conscious to your hip. Let the hip move towards the back of the heel. As you exhale, draw never in and out. Good. Now chin in, round the back. Slowly come back to your sitting position. Good. Hand support. Adjust the toe to the side. And then we're going to face to this camera. So you can actually face where you are. You feel more comfortable for your sitting position. So you keep the feet apart. Toes pointing straight to the front. Hands open to the side. Finger point inwards to your hip. And set your palm down to the floor. If you have wrist problem, you can bring your finger point to the side. So we're going to keep the feet apart from here. So make a deep inhale. As you exhale, drop your both knee to your right side. So you drop the both knee to the sorry to the right side. Yeah. Inhale, come back to your center. Exhale to your left. In center. And exhale. Inhale. And up. In. Exhale. Right side. Center. And exhale left. Good. Now breathe in, come all the way back to the center. And then you use your hand support. Bring the leg come closer. Good. You drop the both knee down to the side, right side. You're going to rest the backs on the mat. Release the shoulder. Release the back. So from here, you're going to keep the feet apart. So drop the both knee to the right side. Lift up the left hip. Use your hands to pull your left ankle. And slowly adjust the leg. Toes pointing towards your hip and knee towards the floor. Start to feel the stretch from the psoas muscle from here. And then you bring the knee back to center. OK, 
Okay, start to feel the stretch from here and adjust the hip bone. Make sure the two sitting bones is still grounded. So try not lift the left hip up. Try to sit your left hip bone down. Good, hand extend to the back. Reaching to the back, hold your both elbow. Make a deep in from here. Exhale, release. Couple of breaths here, in and out. Good, inhale, exhale, drop the leg down. So release the right leg down. Hands let go. And then from here, you're going to bring the left knee towards the right side. So circle your hip and then come back to the center. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop to your left. Okay, use your hands to hold your right ankle. And then pull your toes pointing to the back. Top the foot down on the mat. Knee down and adjust the left knee up, pointing to the ceiling. So make sure the hip bones are square from here. So you adjust yourself. If this is you, you can't reach the down, can't reach the knee down. It means the groin and hip is very stiff, to kind of like blocking you to go all the way down. Just go as far as you can, not forcing. So feel that stretching from your sore ass, and feel the stretching from your tights. As you exhale, bring the conscious to your knees, slowly lower down towards the floor. Bring the conscious to your right hip bone, let them sink down towards the mat. Okay, hand extend to the back, bending elbow, hold. Good, now inhale, exhale, release the hand, drop the knee down to the mat. Okay, adjust the right knee, circle from the left side and slowly come back to the center. Good. So you're going to do the same move, left and right. And then those can go with both legs, go ahead with the both legs. So we drop the both knee to the right side. Hand hold your ankle, pull your toes point towards you and back to the center. If those can go further, use your right hand and then adjust the right leg. Then bring the knee together, hip bones down, elongate your front body, bring the hand to the back. Hold your both elbow. stay here for five, four, sacrum, down, sacrum down towards the mat, draw your navel into your spine, three, two, and once, now inhale, release, bring the right knee, circle back, drop the knee down to the floor, and left towards the right side, circle back to the center. Chin side, in and out. Hand pull, then slowly come back to center first, adjust the knee towards the right side, use your hands to pull your ankle, pointing to you, toes pointing to you, and bring the both knees together if possible. Try to make sure your hip bone is square. Draw never in, extend the spine longer, bring the hand to the back and hold. Good. Inhale, hand release. So bring the left knee up, drop the knee down. Right knee circle and back. Very good. Now adjust the hip bone. Keep the feet apart, tucking your knee together. Rest the groin, rest the hip bones, rest the sacrum. Hand just next to your body. So your feet is apart, knee connect together. Release the tiredness for the backs. Let the sitting bone sink down towards the mat. Good. 
Good. Now slowly walk your feet together. Bend your knee to your chest. Use your both hands to hug your knee. Release all the tightness from your back, shoulder, and your hip. Okay, open up your hand to the side. Turn your palms down. So make a deep in from your chest down to your core. As you exhale, control with the core. Drop the both knee to your right side. Bring the knee touching the floor and the toes up. So your legs not down. The feet not down to the mat. Inhale up and exhale. Both knee down to the mat and your feet up. In center. Exhale. In center. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale to your right side. Slowly lower down your both knee, followed by your toes and your feet. So you use your right hand support, guide the knee down to the mat. Turn your face looking to your left finger. Stay here for a few breaths in and out. A spinal twist here. Good. Now inhale, hand supports, come back to center. Exhale, drop the both knee to your left. And then feet down. Hand supports, guide the knee towards the mat. Remain your both shoulder is grounded. And turn your face towards the right finger. Inhale, release the hand down, bring the both knee up, back to center. Hand hug your knee again towards the chest. Okay, release the both hand down. Let go of your feet one by one. Extend the front and drop the toes down. Keep the feet apart. Hand next to your body. Release the shoulder, your arms down to your finger. Let go of your spine, let go of your lower backs, your hip, your leg down to your toes. And then slowly close your eyes. Make a deep inhale to your lower parts of the body, which is your hip, your leg. As you exhale, you let them release and let go. Good. Now bring the air to your face. Release the tension from your face, especially the center of your eyebrows. As you exhale, so let go and release. Keep your mind calm and relaxed. And enjoy your shvasana here. Breathe in slowly and breathe out, release. Good. Now make a deep inhale. Slow exhale. Start to bring the conscious to your hands and your fingers. Move the finger. Bring it towards your feet and toes. Adjust the toes. Extend your arm over your head. Finger point to the back. Adjust the leg. And then point your toes towards me. 
Make a deep inhale, stretch the entire body with inhale. Exhale, you release and let go. Slowly bend your knee, step your feet down to the mat. Okay, bend your knee to your chest. And then gently lock your knees side to side or hips side to side. Inhales. As you exhale, drop the both knee down to your right side. Turn your body completely to the right side. Rest the face down to the mat. Good. Now with the hands support, come back to sitting position. You can remain your eyes is closed. And then gently sit down, crossing leg, and then keep the spine taller. Put your hands on the knee. Deep into your spine and your hip. As you exhale, release and relax. Good. Now inhale. Bring the palm to the center of your heart. Gently open up your eyes. Okay. Bring the hands together. We inhale. Extend your hand up. Exhale. Open heart and chest and release the shoulder down. Inhale. Bring in all the fresh air into your body. As you exhale, let go all the unwanted air from your body. Good. Bring in the positive energy to your body. Exhale, release and let go. Let's do it one more time. Inhale up. And exhale, release. Good. Now bring your palm together. Make a deep in. Chin closer to your collarbone. Exhale, bow all the way down to honor your practice. Palm to your chest. Namaste. Okay. Thank you. Practice with arrest. I hope you enjoy the practice. And we understand because when we do a flow, we have limited time to explain more to you how do you want to support. If you have a doubts during the practice when after the class, you can actually text us. Uh, you can put your comments and then write into the Facebook and then in your page so that we know what is going on with you and then we can give you some advice and comments or we can give you more uh, variation of the, the, the post so that you can practice yourself more safely in, at home. So, um, and you have a time now, please take a picture and then for your map or for yourself or after your practice, you can actually share to your Facebook and Instagram and please help to text the hex sign and stay home with Jiao Yu. And yes, <laughs> that is for today's practice. So hope to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, if you like our video, please give us a like. And if you have any doubts and questions, uh, do give us a comment. And then please share to your family members, colleagues and friends. And don't forget to subscribe us from our YouTube channel. And we'll see you in next video.